One piece carbon fiber bar and stem combination seemed to be all the rave. With Specialized releasing the new Revolve Rapide integrated cockpit for their new Tarmac SL8, Trek having their Madone with their integrated cockpit, and Pinarello having their own cockpit. Every single company out there nowadays seems to have their own integration of a one-piece barn stem. It's really cool because of the fact that you get a benefit to aerodynamics, a lighter weight barn stem system, and also they say it's a better stiffness to weight ratio as well. Downside is, is you're limited to configurations for fit, and also if you buy a pre built bicycle they usually are stuck with that kind of stem or handbar width configuration unless you pay big bucks to replace it and by no means are these things uh cheap i would say specialized being at 600 dollars. the trek madone bar is 600 dollars. pinarello's bars go up to about a thousand dollars the list goes on and on for every single company out there i think even colnago cannondale they all have their own the cannondale momo as well i think is around 600 800 dollars for configurations there are a ton of configurations out there that cost a ton of money but some companies are limited to what they make. People are complaining that they don't make a 36 with handlebar for the Revolve. People are saying that there's not a long enough stem for them as well. So you are limited to what configuration you can run on this now. I'm here today to show you guys two other handlebars I have for you guys for options that are one, not only cheaper, two, maybe lighter weight, and three, also different configurations that might fit your need. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, my name is GC Performance. If you guys are liking the channel, go ahead and like, drop a like and subscribe on the video. I have a speech impediment. A new challenger has appeared. Scoosh! Oh no, another new challenger has appeared. Scoosh! I have for you guys here two new companies that you guys are going to learn about today. One you guys might have heard about before in the past, the Far Sports F1 handlebar, which we'll talk about in just a second. And also a new company, EXS Extraordinary Speed they go ahead and make a, their own one-piece barn stem on here as well, which is super lightweight and looks drop-dead sexy, which I'll show you guys in a second. Now, there is no problem with people obviously wanting to go brand-name stuff. Revolve with Specialized, Bontrager with Trek, most with Pinarello. Obviously, if you want that look, there's obviously your option right here. And the bar by itself is very nice. There is nothing wrong with this bar. I've installed it plenty of times. I really do like this bar itself. But in terms of different configurations or maybe just different looks or maybe you just want to be different. Maybe you want to have something different because I myself am building up a Tarmac SL8. That's why I reached out to both these companies to go ahead and ask them to send me these bars. Uh, they work for SL8s. They work for SL7s. They work with every single company out there if you get in contact with them. And they have different options for spacers. But man, do these bars look absolutely beautiful. So before I show you guys the EXS, which I'm excited for, I'm going to go over to something that we all know and love, Far Sports. Far Sports has been on the channel beforehand and they made a wheel set that I reviewed a long time ago. They make a bunch of carbon fiber parts at an affordable price point for consumers. But this is their Far Sport F1S Aero Cockpit. It is a negative 10 degree stem. Uh, they make a steer in OD1 and OD2. Basically, that's for your normal steers and then also their oversized steers like the Giant, uh, like a TCR or a Propel. So if you're looking for a integrated cockpit that's not made by Giant, uh, they, they work with that as well. Color black and made in China. And the configuration that I reached out for them for is very modern. And I always have ridden a 42 centimeter bar but pros are riding more narrower and narrower bars, and I want to be like a pro. So I'm going with a 110 stem with a 38 centimeter bar. I'm going to show you guys what this thing looks like. This bar looks badass. Just before I open up to, let you guys know, all three bars come with their own integrated bar. I'm sorry, Garmin mount out front. So they all give that inclusive as well. But we'll talk about what these companies do really well in terms of price point. So let's go and open this thing up. This is the Far Sports F1S. You know, I'm going to just pause this because it's going to be brutal for me. You guys watch this. Ah! Ah! Damn it. Ah. Okay. I didn't pause it. Presentation looks good. Obviously, they're stepping up their game with packaging. And this is obviously a direct -to consumer bar. I will put a link to both these bars down below, the EXS and also the Far Sport. Um, but I do not have a discount code for you guys. Like I said, they just sent this out to me. But this is the Far Sport bar right here. One, aesthetics look really badass. And the reason why I say this is because I chose both these companies to reach out to because of the fact that they're fatter stem, which looks a little bit more like a Sprinter stem. I'm always a big fan of the Sprinter looking stems. I like the Venge stem on the old school Venge. Um, but not only that, they do have a little bit different configurations that I do like. Again, like I mentioned before, this is a 38 by 110 on here. You got the little Far Sports logo here. This is a sticker. It can be removed, I believe. So you can just go ahead and remove that. 
It does come with these stem mounts included already on here, which you can work it for either Garmin or Wahoo. The price on this handlebar is $400. So let's say you bought a Tarmac S08 Pro or you bought a bicycle that doesn't come with an integrated cockpit like the new Trek Madone SL7, and you want to get an integrated cockpit, but you don't feel like dropping $600 on something, you have this right here, which is $400 for a one-piece bar and stem combination. And you might just be thinking to yourself, well, why would I go with one of these brands that hasn't been tested or tried? This was actually used by the winner of, I'm sorry, I don't know my butcher's name, but from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, she won gold medals on there. Anna Kiesenhofer won with this bar included on her bicycle. Uh, they have a great reputation for stiffness to weight ratio. They redesigned the bar to make it better cable and housing, which are actually really nice housing holes. So if you're doing this at home, that is a massive opening. Okay. All right, dude, calm down, dub. Massive opening. Massive opening for routing cables, which is really nice. Um, you have a configuration to go underneath here as well with these kind of rubber grommets if you want to, but this is supposed to be ran right through here. Um, and also they have an updated version now, so you can actually use this on a gravel bike if you want to as well. And like I mentioned before, it's not just for a specific normal inch and eighth steer. You can use it for whatever kind of integrated bike you wanted to. Um, Trek, Colnago, Pinarello, BMC, Specialized, the list goes on and on. They have a spacer that will adapt to this for that bicycle. And this is one of the only companies I've seen that make it in the oversized steer for the Giants as well, which is really cool. But one thing that I will say that uh, I, I typically ride when I ride in the drops down here. I let my palms rest right here. But this has a very similar profile to the Shimano Pro Vibe bar. Very ovalized shape. So if you have bigger or larger hands or you put a lot of pressure down the drops, um, you might not like that. I might dig into that uh, nerve of yours. But it's, I never found that to be an issue for me. I usually ride a little bit lower down there, but it is what it is. But the profile of this thing looks absolutely beautiful. I know a ton of other YouTubers who are riding this, uh, including Joe from China Cycling. Uh, they seem to be tried and true. And not only do they give you the handlebar itself, but they give you all the fixings for whatever kind of garment mount you need on there as well. Uh, if you're just running your bicycle without it and you're going bare bones with a, a brand new build, they give you uh, bearing spaces on there as well. But like I mentioned before, I reached out to them and they made me 3D printed spacers for an SL7 and also an SL8. So I will be running this with the SL8 to see how that goes. And we can probably see that fit on the bicycle as well in just a second. But a very nice on there. And the reason why, again, another option, uh, you have a 36 option as well and a 38 option. Specialized is lacking a 36. And you're seeing a couple companies that are lacking a 36 centimeter bar. That is a very tiny uh, size bar, but you're seeing more and more pros opt for that. So once pros start going into the option, you're going to see the normal public want that as well. Now, before we weigh this sucker, there are some downsides to it. Like I mentioned before, yes, the oval eyes, if you don't like that hand shape for your hands, it might dig into that carpal tunnel nerve, but also two limitations to sizes. Uh, the widest size they make in this is a 44. There are some people who enjoy 44. They have broad shoulders. That's just what they feel comfortable with. And also stem length, the longest stem length they make is a 120. Now that works for me, but there still are people out there who still like to ride a 130 or 140. So if you're looking for something that has those kind of limitations to it, uh, you might have to look elsewhere, like a Revol, like an EXS, like whatever other brand is out there, but there's an option. I'm going to be weighing this with this mountain side here. It looks like a little steer adapter. You have your titanium bolts and also your Garmin Mount Bear. So we'll be weighing this and this is a 38 by 110. I'm very excited to try out a 38, to be honest with you. Boom. This thing weighs in at <laughs> wowzers. 364 grams with the mount. And we can see here all the writings on here. Length 110, width 380, stack 127, reach 75 millimeters. 75 millimeters seems to be the norm. That is exact same as a roll ball bar as well. But that is your far sports, far, far sports, far sports bar. F1S thing retails for $399. The cheapest integrated bar and stem I've seen with a repertoire or kind of like a known name behind them. And uh, they're tried and true. So if you want to get into the integrated bar and stem combination, that is a really good option. I'll put a link down below. $200 cheaper than the other guys out there, the big name guys. Now over to the EXS, one of the sexiest looking bars out there. And guys, you better stay tuned because right now I have an SLA in the stand before we look at that EXS. We're going to throw on the Far Sports bar in here. We're going to throw on the Roval bar as well. And we're going to throw on the EXS bar to see what bar looks very nice on here. So what are you guys still doing? I'm waiting here, bro. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the freaking like button. 
and just be a YouTuber. God, I hate myself. That was really cringy. Anyways, now on to the beautiful bar. The EXS Extraordinary Speed. The reason why I reached out to this company is because I saw on Instagram a post by, I believe, the gentleman who runs or owns the company. He had this bar on a Tarmac S8 slammed. And this bar has what I crave. The thickness, the girth, the width, the length. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The, uh, the, uh, no, but the bar looks absolutely beautiful on the bicycle, which you guys will just see in just a second. But the configuration I opted in for it was a 380 again. They make it uh, 360. I got in the compact bend, and I chose for this one for a 120 because I like the length of it. And I am said, I rode 120 stems before in the past. I usually ride a 56, so I can go ahead and have really long arms. But without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this bar. This bar costs $450. Thank you. Thank you for making me struggle on live YouTube. Oh, what is your deal, dude? You want to cooperate? You want to cooperate or not? Ah, damn, dude. All right. Well, hold on. Let's do that again. Thank you. Okay, so, beautiful bar. $450. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see it has some characteristics of what these kind of big name guys have. The dimples on the flat tops. But that, that stem looks so much like a sprinter stem, like an old school pro stem, like an old school zip stem. I absolutely love the look of this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. I can focus on there. Nice wide cutouts for cable routing as well. You have the mount underneath there if you need to run a Garmin on there. You have all the configurations you need. What it says right here, width, the reach is 5 millimeters shorter as well, and the drop is 125. Stem, very similar, negative 10 by 120, um, and gives you your new mirrors max in there as well. And you also have different cable routing guides if necessary as well. It has a little bit of a flare out on the drops compared to the hoods, just a little bit. Not not the crazy gravel or not like the crazy Envy that Bagach has in there, but absolutely gorgeous. We have titanium bolts inside there, and then with their own integrated uh, top cap, that will flush it off real nice. You have the EXX loader right there. Man, this bar is gorgeous. I'm going to put this on a bicycle, like I said before. So, cool thing about them is that they have a lot of configurations as well. You can go up to a 140 stem on here, a 130 stem. You can go to a 36, a 38. They don't have all of their configurations listed, but if you do reach out to them and probably ask for one, I believe they obviously can make it for you, whichever you need. And again, in terms of what they have ready, they have a bunch of bicycles they make listed for it. So, again, I reached out to them telling them it's for an SL8. They sent me a spacer kit for the SL8. And I believe that's an adapter for the steer to go inside of here. But it's one of the lighter bars. This is claimed to be at 290 grams in its lightest configuration, which will weigh in just a second. Obviously, there's no garment on there. But that is just a good-looking bar and stem on there. And again, they make it for everything out there, and they include their own 3D-printed out front garment mount and stem on there as well. So just a couple companies that they go ahead and make them for. Specialized, the Tarmac SL7, the Venge, the Merida, the Giant, the Trek, the Factor, the BMC, the Scott. That looks really badass on the Scott foil. Uh, but like I said, the SL8 with that front bulging head tube on this thing looks badass. $450 for this as well. And they are literally data freaks. If you head over to their website, which I said I will put a link down below. Um, again, I don't have a, a discount code for this bar. It's just a badass bar for $450. But they do have all their graphs that they show that they did wind tunnel testing against Vision 5V bar. They have stiffness weight ratios on there as well. Um, they have uh, the aerodynamics of what you get for watts per this bar against a, a Vision bar and then also a traditional bar. They have, so they said that this bar setup against a normal standard handlebar and stem configuration is 15 seconds faster over 40 kilometers, which is pretty fast and that's what a lot of people are saying is that these new integrated bar and stem combos are a lot of the watt savings as is especially when you go that narrow configuration which is very nice so like i mentioned before they test against the vision 5d bar which i'm currently riding on my polygon polygon bike and they said it's one and a half watts faster than the vision bar and it's also lighter and then they test against the zip sl70 which they said is going to be about four watts faster which is crazy to think of uh than the um zip zip speed sl70 bar uh which is crazy and it's also lighter in that aspect as well so what we're gonna do now is i'm going to weigh this sucker weigh this little bad boy and then we're gonna throw all these bicycles 
or all these bars on the SLA to see. I also throw the Revolt on there as well. Quick disclaimer, downside to these guys is the FAR Sports and the EXS is that you only get a two-year warranty, a 24-month warranty for these systems. There's no crash replacement on there as well. It's just basically warranty covering any kind of manufactured defect. Whereas if you did go with the Revol or the other guys, the big name guys, the $600 bars, uh, the $1,000 bars, you usually get a lifetime crash, uh, sorry, a lifetime warranty. And some of the companies like Revol offer a crash replacement or it happens program. So yes, it's $200 more, but in the long run, you're getting protection all the way through. But if you're limited to configurations, like I know people want a 36 in the Revol bar or a 140 in the Revol bar, uh, you have other choices and other options. But let's go and weigh this sucker. Bad boy. All right, here we go. 304 grams. Again, that's without the Garmin mount, so it's not too bad on there. I'm sure the Farce would be lighter too. But they claim 290 in its latest configuration, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the specialized bar to kind of give you guys an idea of what that weighs. And now here comes the Revol bar. This is a 42 by 100. So they are different dimensions as well. But if we go 380 by 120, 42 by, one, by 100, we can say there's less material in there, yada, yada, yada. But just to get an idea. This is 324 without hardware in here. So a good solid 20 grams, which really isn't the end of the world here. But for you, wait, we need a 305. So yeah, a good solid 20 grams. So that is a other idea. And to be honest with you, the EXS and the Far Sports are all in stock, whereas the Revol and the other bars are very hard to get right now. All right, so now that we have everything unpacked, you guys have all the knowledge you guys could ever need in your life. We're gonna take these bars to the back. Come on guys, let's, let's go for a walk. I'm gonna throw this bar on this SL8. I'm doing this SL8 with a pro build, slam 130 cent. That's just gonna be badass. You can't ride that. I don't know, no one can ride that. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and put this on right now. Before I go ahead and do a time lapse of removing this stem and putting on the other bar, quick shout out to Soka. Uh, I just reach out to them. I use their product for lube and stuff like that. I just reach out to them saying, what if? Uh, I have a discount code for you guys down below. I get no kickback from it. It's just for you guys because they're so cool. It's 10% off, but I got my own badass set of shop tools that I really do feel like a mechanic on here. So a really cool set of shop tools. All the sets you need, add-ons for additional uh, torques on here, Phillips head, flat heads, whatever it is. Really badass stuff. So thank you to Silka for going ahead and showing me stuff. If you guys need anything from them, titanium cages, lube, whatever it is, uh, or your own home tool sets that you need, uh, there is a 10% code down below. Like I said, I don't get a dollar back. That's just for you guys for supporting the channel. So thank you to Silka, and uh, let's go ahead and put this bar on. All right, so bars are moved. What I have to do now is take off these spaces. I came with the bike. These are definitely 3D printed for the SLA. So this is the EXX bar we're going to throw on here. Um, we'll see how this thing looks, see how the configuration is. Don't want to lose these because we're going to be using that tomorrow for a build. Throw down a little spacer. Let's get our little EXS out here. What a little, how you doing? Let's see how this fits. Good. Got enough room in there. That's going to be a tired fit for those cables. Let's see how it fits with some cables and get a bike going there. And we'll throw on a little how you doing spacer up in here. That. Fancy me up that. Oh, I guess I do need that steer sleeve that they gave me as well. So they do include inside the box a carbon fiber steer sleeve. I don't know for what, but that's gonna go inside here. I don't know why I just don't make it for my bar. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and put this on here. Show it. I'll hold this and do this in real time. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this. All right, time out. All right, so there we go, it's on there. Got my T25. It was a pain in the ass get on there, so uh, just know you have to fight for it for a little bit. Son of a beasting. Tighten some push down. And we're gonna get this thing a little crank down. Remember, top first always. And I'm not building these bikes, so we're not gonna do anything crazy. And then the pinch pulls, okay? 
But, okay, definitely a super hot bar. Hold on. I mean, man, that shit looks so good. Like, again, I feel like the thickness of this fits perfectly. It fits this little protruding bulge on there. That bar with this thing looks so badass. And I've seen it completely slammed, where it's just one, I only have one space underneath there. But, oh my gosh, dude, that thing looks so good. Like, really good looking bar. That is a really badass bar. That fits this bike so good. I like that look a lot. I can't wait. I think that, I think I'm gonna maybe I can get two escalates. I'll see. But man, that thing looks really good. Okay, now for the fire sports. And keep in mind too, before I take this out, they do give you everything that you need for the spacers. You don't need that little like cable routing guide one for like that you see on the Revolve or stuff like that because it goes directly into that bar right there. So that thing looks so flush on there. Like a really good design. Very pretty. All right, so EXX is back in the box. Now onto the Far Sports. I don't think you guys understand how ready I am to have my tarmac. I don't think, let me show you guys some real quick before I do this. I haven't nerded out like this in a long time for a bike build, but I have my rotors ready to go. Carbon tie, Pagacha, Pagacha, Pagacha. Super excited for that, 160, 140. I have my SLT ceramic speed headset bearings. Ready to go for my hookup over there, over in Team Turtle. I mean, I am so, I got my handlebar that I want. I got wheels that I'm ready for. I got cranks. I got a whole Durace group set put aside for this thing. I'm just waiting for the right time for Specialized to come in stock. Because every single other bicycle company out there has bikes in stock. Except for me. So I want a ready to paint frame 56. Soon. All right, so same thing. This is a 3D printed S08 spacer from Far Sports. And then they have their own proprietary spacers for the bar. You don't need the cable guide because the cables go directly into the bar like on the other bicycle, but they go right there, if you guys cannot see. So let's go ahead and slap on a spacer and get this show on the road. Again, this is the Far Sports Bar. This one is $400. Hmm. Let's go right here. fitting in there correctly. Oh, that's the problem with 3D printed stuff. Okay, so that's, there we go. Because the holes on the 3D printed stuff weren't aligned properly, you kind of have to do a little, a little bit more force to get them to go in because they weren't drilled all the way through. To be honest, you probably, once I put this bar on here, this will probably push down enough. Let's see how this goes. And keep this in mind, folks. I need you to understand this too. This is about the same spacer height I had for the regular SL7 stem. These proprietary bars and stem are much different sizes. So if you have your same, if you have your fork cut and slammed for, let's say that stem over there, it might not fit, so make sure you check the height of this as well, because that can be an issue. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this thing down real quick and see if it doesn't press in this other side over here. So no fancy, let's see what's going on. No fancy top cap like the EXS to make a one piece on there, but it definitely press that little piece in there. So let me go ahead and show you guys this finished product. And then here is the configuration for the Far Sports Bar right here. And that thing looks, I don't know what it is, but it looks overly aggressive. It looks massive on there. Again, you can see that chunky stem right there. I definitely could have gone a little bit lower on this, uh, the stem space right here. But one thing I did notice, again, this being a 3D printed spacer, is that when they make this, listen, ready? You hear it kind of dragging. This part's kind of dragging on that front end of there. So what I probably have to do is go ahead and sand the bottom of this, the bottom of the spacer to go ahead and make it work so it doesn't press up against there. But overall, I mean, that's, that's a very easy thing to do before you go ahead and run everything. So you can go ahead and just either add a shim probably to the piece right there or also just do that on the 3D appearance spacer. But the EXS had no issues on there. It was rubbing very nice. So if I don't know if it's gonna be hit or miss, but the 3D printing on there has to be just be a little bit cleaner. But 
titanium hardware out from mount gorgeous looking bar though absolutely gorgeous again big fan of the thickness on there and then boom really cool 400 dollars by far sports i think it looks really good let me go ahead and remove this on here and then i'll show you what a revol bar looks like on a specialized bike obviously i already have on there And then last but not least, the Roval bar installed on an SL8. And obviously it looks really good. I mean, it was made for this bicycle. Super clean, super slick. Very nice on the spacers. Obviously everything's gonna work as is. We have over here on a Pro as well. Looks very nice on there. So you have a ton of options there on what you can choose from. Let me know down in the comment section below which one you would choose out of all three, EXS, Roval, or Far Sports. Which one are you going to take in consideration for price, looks, and performance? But that is going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of these two companies down below. And a big shout out to, again, EXS and Far Sports for sending these bars out to me. I will be doing builds with them, I promise you, very soon. And you guys can see my finished project. I cannot wait to get my hands on a bicycle I've been dying for. I've been riding much more. You guys can tell I'm not just a YouTuber who doesn't ride anymore. I am a YouTuber who somewhat rides at least once a week. But we are going out crazy, fun, fast speed. So I'm enjoying it again. Um, thank you guys. As always, happy holidays. We're going into retail craziness season. Thank you guys for so much for the support of the channel over the years. Um, absolutely love you guys. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I don't give a shit if you guys leave me mean comments or whatever it is. Uh, I'm so happy and so thankful for everyone who watches because I have a blast on these videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.